last week. Oh, my goodness. I feel like it was yesterday that I was here. The week has gone by so fast. I can't believe it. My name's Michelle Conway, and this is Psychic Angel Guidance, and welcome. Thank you for being here, and this is A1R Radio Network. Okay. Well, what a week it's been, hasn't it? There's been so much going on for everybody. And we're coming out of that last phase now of Mercury retrograde, aren't we? So um, things are going to start to pick up for everybody. I'd like to send some healing and some can light a candle if you've got one there for all the people that have been experienced or have been um, lost property or involved in the hurricanes that have just gone through over there for you guys. I um, have an idea how you feel. My home was also blown away back in um, 2013 and it's the strangest feeling. You keep thinking, oh, I'll go out and I'll get the broom and it's like, well, you can't. It's not there anymore. It's, It's a weird, weird space to be in when Everything that you've had has been totally taken from you. But on a different note, I learnt so much from that, that there's so much that sometimes the universe will step in and and say, hey, you don't need all that. It's a great big cleansing. And it gives you back your power. And it brings people back together to reunite, to be able to bring the communities back together to get people to start talking again and get them to all start helping each other. And it shows what wonderful and resilient human beings we all are. And each one of us out there is genuinely a earth angel, healers in action, giving and helping, supporting each other through these times when you feel like, oh, my gosh, all of that I've worked for, my power, everything within me has been taken, but yet you receive it back in other ways. Okay, so this is about a time for people to come together, to reunite, and for that community spirit to bring about the healing and create the new. It's an opportunity for new growth. Okay, so I'm just going to close my eyes now. As I say, an angel blessing. For all those people, I call upon the angels and the archangels in the highest realms to come and embrace all those that are affected in some way through hardship, through poverty, through famine, through loss, to embrace those people and wrap them in divine light, divine love, and divine healing at this time as they move forward into a new space that will bring them abundance and joy and a new sense of what is important in their life. Okay, the cards that I did bring forth today, it's very interesting that... um, The angels have asked to talk about signs, okay? There's many signs that we get given all the time, but often they slip by us, and it's not until they really smack us in the face that we go, wow, that's really what I know I should have been doing all along. So there's signs around us everywhere, and this is part of the way that the angels or your All your loved ones communicate with you. They'll give you little signs. And very often you you don't notice those signs. They'll slip by on you. And then later on you'll go, I had the strongest sense that um, dad was with me today or that my auntie was with me today or grandma was with me today. And that's when they're looking over you and they're helping you. They're helping you to move forward. But they're also giving you the signs, a little sign in the direction of what it is that you need to move forward into for yourself, okay? Um, And it's through this connection, because spirit are with us. They're around us all the time. The earth plane and the spirit realm, they are linked together like this. This, when, When people leave this earth plane, they don't go off somewhere up elsewhere. They stay in and around us. 
all the time, okay? And it's just a matter of learning to be aware of those little signs that we get from them. They're so subtle and they come in on such a, a gentle and loving vibration, okay? And it's about trusting those signs when we get them too because often we'll, we'll second guess it. We'll go, hey, was that real? Did that? <laughs> and then you'll, you'll talk yourself out of the, the message or, or what it is that your loved one has brought forth for you. Okay, so signs and, and communication from spirit, it's happening all the time. It's just we need to learn to take notice of that. And it happens in a fleeting moment. A fleeting flash is all that it connects through in that moment of opportunity where your conscious mind is a little bit distracted or not quite on the mark and it gives that opportunity for your subconscious mind to and your intuitive self to to get that sign to get that message through for you okay and that's we've all got these abilities we're all psychic in some way we're all healers in some way we all have special gifts that not until you get back to basics do you start to go, hey, I've gone and tap into those energies that you naturally are given. They're your natural birthright. They're part of you. They're your connected way of being in the universal energy flow. Okay? They're what make you whole, if you like. All right? So that wholeness is bringing together that aspect of yourself. And it doesn't matter whether you're a male or a female, everyone's intuitive. <laughs> um, it's about learning to take notice of that intuition, isn't it? Okay, learning to take notice of those signs. It's, it's like learning to cook, following a recipe, all right? Um, the more you do that, Eventually, you don't need to follow the recipe anymore. You've got that and you can just go on and make that flow and make that happen for yourself. And it's the same with practicing your intuition or your, your communication with spirit. The more you do it, the better at it you get. Everyone can do it, okay? We're all born with, with um, skills. Some people are great teachers and they love teaching in classrooms and other people are meant to be nurses um, their natural ability is to be able to link in and, and give that healing energy in, in hospitals um, and doctors and lawyers people in all different aspects of the community are utilizing their natural skills that they've been born with if they're following what is truly their heart passion, okay? Because it's usually these sort of things are going on around you. you. You've felt it all your life. It's like it's something that you're really drawn to. You really want to do. You can't help it. You just go, oh, I really have the strongest urge to follow this. That is what your heart passion, your life purpose is. It could be that you have a knowing about a whole lot of information that how, how could you know that? Because you haven't studied it, but this is where your subconscious self, your heart, it's linking in. That's where spirit are making those communications for you. They're, they're there to help you every day in every way around you, okay? It's up to us all to learn, to bring that together, to make us complete, if you like, to have the fullness of awareness, not just our consciousness, but our subconsciousness and bringing that together. That's what part of our journey is about. And that's where I feel that we're all moving toward too, becoming more aware on that subconscious level as the the energy quickens on the earth plane and we're finding that time races by faster and faster all the time. We're getting 
so much busier and busier and busier. It's like the energy is picking up and it's getting huger and huger. And that's part of getting that consciousness and the subconsciousness to come together, to marry into one another. Okay, so I see that I've got Charlotte there. Hi, Charlotte. How are you? Hello. I'm good. How are you? Oh, I'm really good. Th- thank you for phoning. Yes. Yeah, I've got a bit of an echo there with you. It's a, have you can you hear that echo when I speak to you? Pardon me? There's a bit of a delay, I think, when I'm speaking with you. Okay. Yeah, it's just a... How's your day been? How's my what? How's your day been? Oh, how's my day been? My day (laughs) has been fine. I thought you asked me how my baby was. (laughs) Oh, no, your day. (laughs) Oh, you've had a good day, yeah? Yes, it's been a good day. Okay, so have you...
moment to, to take you by the hand and say, hey, let's look at the world. There's much more world out there for all of us, for you to enjoy as well, okay? So okay. At, at the moment, don't try to work out whether you should or shouldn't. You already know. <laughs> You've already started that, that um, transformation, if you like. You've already um, started to come out of that cocoon. You're already starting to spread those beautiful new wings, if you like, to, to go out into the world and express who you really are as, as this new beautiful woman, okay? Um, okay. Enjoy, enjoy that time in your life. Don't, don't, feel guilty don't don't sit back and go oh, but you know yes you're always going to miss your husband he's got that special place in your heart and right. you will love him for for the rest of your life but he mm. also has reminded you of your trip to Alaska and how much fun and today and that's what he is also letting you know it's okay for you to move forward okay so don't okay don't second guess yourself. This is um, the we might think the universe is all very random and hickledy pickledy, but it's actually <laughs> flowing to a very divine plan. Okay, and mm -hmm. this man has been brought into your life, is what I'm getting shown, to help you to believe in yourself again too. And you're doing the same for him as what I'm getting shown here. You're helping him to feel, oh, oh handsome and, you know, manly again as well. Because I do feel that he has come out of um, a hardship within a relationship himself, okay? So it's been... Um, you're doing the same for him as what he's doing for you. You're both in that very new stages of um, that energy that, that brings people together, okay? And that's yeah. part of part of the um, the should I should I not steps of slowly moving into it, putting your toe back in that water of the pool and going, oh, is it too cold? <laughs> and not wanting to get in. But you always end up jumping in. You always end up going, wow, it's not that bad yeah, after I, all. I, I think part of me is, like, afraid because, you know, I've already lost, and I know what that feels like, and I don't want that to happen again. This is an older gentleman, and I'm just, I don't know, I'm, a, <laughs> I'm scared, I guess, is what I'm trying to say. Yeah, and, and that, that's natural, too. Okay, um, being yeah. worried about that. If you worry about losing, you're never going mm -hmm. to allow yourself to have either that True. richness. Yeah, you know. Yeah. So um, it, it's not about whether or not he's going to. You're going to lose him. It's about allowing yourself to enjoy what's meant to be. Okay, because mm -hmm. again, if we take it back to that plant we've planted. Um, and we let it get to the first or second stages of its new leaves being formed and we decide, oh, we're going to put Roundup on that and get rid of it. <laughs> there was not much point in letting that come out. Do you see what mm -hmm. I mean? Yeah. yeah. So it's, it's about embracing this opportunity that you have with this beautiful man, okay? Um, allow your heart to be opened and allow yourself to feel that special girl like, oh, you you know, I'm going out and I'm going to enjoy myself with this man and all of those things again, all right? Don't don't try to overthink it whether or not it's going to be for the rest of your life, okay? Mm -hmm. uh, just enjoy the space you're in right now because otherwise you're sabotaging it. You're thinking about it can go wrong. You're already, if you put that negative energy into that beautiful new energy, you're going to... You go, you're going to squash it before it even has a chance to take you where that beautiful you that's going, oh, I'm feeling good about myself. I'm getting a new hairdo. Gee, I look good, you know. You, you're giving that no time to grow either, okay? Okay. Does that make sense? So allow mm -hmm. that person to grow. It doesn't matter if, if you're in this relationship with this man for a week or for a year or a 10 years, what matters is that you're going to 
learn, you're going to grow, and you're going to enjoy life again because of this. Okay? okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so I hope I've been able to help you there somehow oh, today. Oh, you sure have been. Yes, you have been. <laughs> That's yes. good. So let me know. Stay in touch. Tell me how you go with this man because I've got a feeling he, he's a really beautiful, gentle energy and he's yes. really going to, to take you on. Um, I, I feel like he's going to treat you like a lady. He's got good old-fashioned type of... Um, he does. You're right. Yeah. You're absolutely yeah. right about that. He's an older gentleman and he's old old-fashioned and he opens the door and he's just a very nice ma'am and enjoy that you deserve that (laughs) allow that woman that beautiful woman to be filled with all this beautiful energy okay Okay. and allow yourself to receive that from him all right you deserve that I I have to leave it there I'm running out of time today but gosh I've really loved meeting you today and good luck okay thank you so much (laughs) You're most welcome. See you later. All right. So, wow, I can't believe how fast that went, everyone. Um, I'm coming up to the last 30 seconds of my show. Wow, can't believe it. 